Today we have a Smith & Wesson 32 top brake. Very, very cool gun that we just restored. Case color to trigger guard and the hammer. Now what we're doing is, is that this gun when it came in had aftermarket grips on them. Okay, and they fit nice and snug, real good. Okay, but they're the wrong grips. So what I was able to do is I was able to source, okay, a pair of Smith & Wesson now these are factory originals. Okay, these aren't these aren't re, you know repops. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to take the time and I have to fit these to make these fit. Okay, so we fast forwarded through, okay, until we got towards the end, okay, but I spent about an hour, maybe an hour and a half on fitting these, you know, with a file, a little bit at a time, okay, so these are the aftermarket grips, they look the same, but they don't have the Smith & Wesson logo on them, okay, so this is the way we want them to fit, we want to take these and be able to squeeze, okay, and literally them hold in without even putting the screw in. Okay, everything is tight, no gaps. Okay, so we're going to do the same with this side. I'm going to take it, squeeze them, and basically these grips, okay, fit in there perfectly, okay, with a little bit of time. So now all we'll do is we'll put the screw in. Okay, we'll tighten her up. And here we go. Smith & Wesson, 32, top brake, really, really cool little cartridge, tiny. Okay, now we're going to be able to give this back to the person that sent it to us. Um, this is an heirloom, and um, I feel that the uh, customer will be absolutely thrilled with the factory grips on there.